This video covers setting up the Link app as well as reviewing its various features and options. The Link app needs to be enabled in the Options menu first. To do that, click on the button next to 3D Cockpit and then make sure the box is checked next to Activate Link app. Then after launching, the game will initialize the connection for the Link app. To enable the Link app itself after launching on an Android device, simply enter the IP address of the connection needed to connect to the game. That address will generally be the IP for the network device on the system that the game is running on. Once the game and the Link app are able to connect, the Location menu will appear next. On this screen, you'll get an overview of your current location with additional details on the left side. So to demonstrate, I can plot a nav point to the city on the surface of a planet here, and then within the app, tap on the autopilot button here, and that will engage the autopilot within the game. Likewise, if I have a ship targeted, I can deactivate the autopilot and then activate the formation option with the button here in the app. And then my ship will join formation with the current target as though I had clicked on the formation button within the game itself. And I'll re-engage the autopilot. Next, I'll switch to the ship's status display. Additional control options will appear on the right side of the menu. The left side of the menu shows various status details, including velocity and other parameters about the ship, such as fuel, countermeasures, and subsystem damage. The middle area of the display shows the current cargo bay contents, the main power energy level, the hull damage status, and the status of the mining and tractor beam. The control options on the right side let you launch countermeasures, match the current target's speed, augment shield arrays, adjust energy bias, change the current primary weapon's firing mode, and jettison the cargo bay. As the name implies, the target details mode provides additional information about the currently targeted ship. Its identity, threat level, and status information is displayed on the left, and its current cargo bay contents are displayed in the middle. This mode also provides all of the main ship targeting options on the left side, and you can also select different subsystems using the button here. And you can see as I toggle through the different subsystems, the status of the subsystem selected appears directly above the button. The other controls menu provides other functions such as being able to cycle through the various HUD modes, change the view mode, as well as adjust settings like the MDTS auto aiming mode and the throttle direction mode. And you can also turn the low light setting on and off and adjust the IDS scale level. Lastly, I'll demonstrate how the app can be used to engage the jump drive to travel to a selected nav point. First, I'll select a nav point to the station near Arvog Prime, the sector here. And then I will return to the app and then click on the launch button within the location mode here. And that will engage the jump drive as though I had clicked on it or pressed the button for it directly in the game. And then once the jump is complete, I've arrived at the destination. So if you have a spare Android smartphone or tablet sitting around, you can use this as an additional means of gathering more information on a separate screen, as well as a few additional control options. The download link for the APK installer for the app is available in the customizing kit, and I'll include the uh, web link for that page in the description of the video below. That's all for this tutorial video. Visit evercron.com for more information.